Here is another example of a problem from our problem set, from our homework, that you might not be familiar with how to do, so I thought I'd do an example for you. It says, place the size and cost data in L1 and L2 under STAT. Edit and graph the data. Hint, graph each regression equation with the data. Note the position of the points relative to each graph. Arco mills plastic indoor plotting, planting pots. Six inch depth costs $1.19, eight inch depth costs $1.89, 10 inch depth costs 289 and 12 inch depth costs 419. Estimate the cost of a 16 inch depth. So we're going to remember that. That's going to be our job here. X is the independent variable and Y is the dependent variable. How does the graph suggest a linear or quadratic function? Rather than graph this on my calculator, I think I'm going to make a little table here. Input and price. So the input is the depth and the output is the price. Let's calculate first differences. If you calculate first difference here, you notice that's 70 cents. The first difference here is $1, and the first difference here is $1.30. So we see the first differences are not the same, which means it is not linear. If we look at the second differences, in this case, we'll see that the second difference is the same. So this strongly suggests, it indicates, that this is a quadratic function. Now, you don't have to be exactly this way, but it's pretty clear that this indicates that this is a quadratic function. So I'm going to mark quadratic function in this case. But then it asks me to use linear regression to fit an equation to the data, round all numerical values to two decimal places, and also quit, use a quadratic regression to fit the equation to data. Okay, if you are unfamiliar with how to do this on your calculator, I'm going to show you the TI-80 right here. So on the TI-84, to enter data, you need to hit the STAT button. So if I hit the STAT button, I notice that this window comes up. Edit, sort A, sort D, clear list, and set up editor. What's important for us is to enter the data, so we're going to hit number one for edit. You should receive a screen where you have L1, L2, and L3 at the top. If you don't, I want you to come see me and I can reprogram your calculator so that it does have this. You may have data in there from when you've done this before. Use your arrow keys to get to the top of the L1 list. To clear the L1 list, you need to only hit the button clear and enter. If you do that, it goes away, but you must be at the top of the list not within the list at the very top. So to clear L2, I'm going to put that up at the top there, hit clear, and then enter. Now I'm free to enter my data. I'm going to enter all my input values, my x values, my depth of the pot first. 6, 8, 10, in hitting enter after each one, and 12. My price is $1.19, hit enter. $1.89, hit enter, $2.89, hit enter, and $4.19, hit enter. So the first step in doing a regression equation is to enter your data. To find the equation is pretty simple. Hit that stat key again, but this time use one right-hand arrow to go over to calc. You'll notice number four, lin reg ax plus b, and number five, quad reg. I want you to hit lin reg. Now, you may not get this screen. You may get a screen that says x list, y list, store regression equation, frequency, and calculate. If you get this screen and you entered your data in L1 and L2, you just need to hit enter. If you get the screen that says x list, y list, frequency, store regression equation, and calculate. Use your arrow keys to go down to calculate. Make sure calculate is highlighted and that hit enter. There is my equation. You may not get these screens R squared and R. I kept them on here just in case you did. For this class, you ignore these values. You'll notice it says y equals ax plus b, where a is 0.5 and b is minus 1.96. This gives you the slope and y-intercept of your regression line. 
So I'm going to write those in there where I'm supposed to here. 0.5x minus 1.96. Notice these have no more than two decimal places. You could put 0 0.50 there. It should accept both answers. To do quadratic regression, since my data is already in STAT, all I need to do is do this again, but this time not do linear regression, do quadratic regression. So STAT, CALC, this time let's go to number 5 and quadratic regression. As before, you may not receive the screen. If you have a TI-83, it should look like this. If you have a TI-84 with the new operating system, it should say X list, Y list, frequency, store regression equation, and calculate. X list and Y list should be L1 and L2. Frequency should be blank. Store regression equation should be blank. And you should use your arrows to go all the way down to calculate. In any case, hit enter. And here I have an equation. Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C, where A equals 0.0375 b negative 1.75, and c 0.89. This r squared value may or may not appear. If it doesn't appear, don't worry about it. It's not important. You ignore it. So I'm going to write that one down. y equals a was 0 0.0375 x squared minus 0.175x plus 0.89. So there are our regression equations. Again, it did say round to four decimal places. This one certainly is. Um, if you need to, you can do that. If the number terminates before four decimal places, it should accept it. Now it asks you to use each equation, equation to find the output for the indicated input. And the indicated input was 16 inches. So I'm going to do that with my linear equation. I'm going to replace x, because x is the depth of the pot, with 16 inches. If I do the arithmetic here, I get the value $6.04. Sorry, lights went off there for a second. <laughs> $6.04. So $6.04 is my answer there. In my quadratic equation, I get 0 0.0375 x squared, but x again is 16, and 0.175 times 16, replacing x with 16 again, and plus 0.89. If I do all that arithmetic, I get $7.69. I hope this example was useful and helps you complete some of your homework assignments.